Welcome to the Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom podcast with Jacob Ayers, providing actionable content to help you along your journey to financial freedom through real estate investing. As the premier asset class, real estate has helped ordinary people just like you amass fortunes. The benefits of passive income from real estate investing will allow you to live a life you want. And now your host, entrepreneur, real estate investor, and apartment deal syndicator, Jacob Ayers. Hi, and welcome to the Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom podcast, episode 333. Hey, welcome back. I'm your host, Jacob Ayers, and this is Friday Fundamental. Hey, happy Friday to you. I'm so glad you're here. Hope all is well on your end. Now let's jump right into this week's Friday Fundamental. This week's Friday Fundamental is 90 Day Goals. Now, does anyone feel busier now than ever before? What happened? You know, we're expected to juggle family, careers, our personal lives, keep up with news, and all while trying to keep our sanity. Now, maybe it's just me growing up and being introduced into the real world. I don't know for sure. But it seems that we have an ever-increasing number of things vying for our attention. Every day, it seems like we're inundated with information, news, social media, etc. Now, sure, some of it's good information, But other information is just a total drain on our mental capacity. So with all this noise, it can be hard to focus on our own lives. We can get wrapped up reacting to things rather than being proactive. While it may seem like much of the world is out of our control, and fair enough, it is, we do have control over one thing and by far the most important, ourselves. We have the ability to think how we want, make decisions, act how we want, and control our own lives. Living intentionally, I like to call this. Living intentionally is something each and every one of us can do. This means you can make your own decisions, have your own perspectives, Learn what you want and do what you want. With so much control over your own life, you have the ability to shape your own outcome. In that, you can find comfort amidst a busy world filled with all kinds of noise. The first step to living intentional is figuring out what you want. This is your vision for your own life. Your vision is just as it sounds. It's your vision for how you want your life to be, from work-life balance, to family, to finances, hobbies, lifestyle, travel, you name it. You should visualize as specifically as possible what you want your life to look like. So some questions you could ask yourself are, how much time do I want to spend working? How much time do I want to spend with family? How much income will I need to live the life I want? What ways do I want to spend my free time? And what things are important to me that I would like to spend my energy doing? These are all questions that will help you determine your vision. So after you create your awesome vision, then you ask yourself, how? Your how is the goal. It's the action step. From there, You can work backwards and create goals to achieve your vision. That's where I want to focus today's Friday Fundamental in creating those goals to live an intentional life. So there have been numerous studies that support the science that setting goals improves one's odds of accomplishing that goal. And the odds are even further increased when the goal is written down. Tony Robbins said, setting goals is the first step in turning the invisible into the visible. Goal setting is perhaps 
rather definitely the most discussed topic here on Friday Fundamentals. From New Year's resolutions to 10x goals, there are many different goal setting strategies. Now by far the most favorite goal setting strategy of mine is setting 90 day goals. This is inspired by Brandon Turner's Intention Journal and Brian Moran's book, The 12 Week Year. This 90 day goal strategy is one I have found quite effective in my own life for the following reasons. 90 days is not too long and not too short to make an impactful change in your life through daily actions. Setting goals, for example, 10 years out leaves a lot of time for one to procrastinate, things to change, and just leaves too much to chance. On the other hand, trying to achieve a big goal, for example, in seven days, might not give enough time to make any meaningful progress. So 90 days is just right. If you take consistent daily action for 90 days in a row, you will most certainly see change in your life. And after that 90 days is up, you can reset your 90 day goals and build on the progress you've already made. Two, you can do anything for 90 days, right? It's close enough in the future that you can visualize yourself accomplishing your goal. And three, as mentioned, it builds momentum. After 90 days, you'll see the things you've accomplished and want to build on those things. You take on another 90 days and then another, eventually building so much momentum and seeing exponential change through your daily and consistent actions. And four, you can break your 90 day goal into weekly plans and then into daily action steps, giving you a step by step playbook to achieving your goals. For these few reasons, I've found that people are able to make real change in their own lives by following the principles outlined in Brian Moran's 12 week year and tracking their progress with Brandon Turner's intention journal. You've probably heard the saying, what gets measured gets done. By measuring your progress and holding yourself accountable to progress your goals, you'll become an unstoppable force. You might not see the momentum you're building at first, but slowly and surely you'll change your trajectory by multiples. As Walt Disney said, if you can dream it, you can do it. Think about your own life and what you want. Create an exciting vision and make a plan to achieve that vision. The time will pass whether or not you decide to take action, so you might as well give it a shot. You'll probably even surprise yourself with what you're capable of doing. Well, that wraps up this week's episode of Friday Fundamentals. Hey, I hope you're getting so much value from this podcast. This week's episode was brought to you by Ayers Acquisitions. Ayers Acquisitions is a real estate investment company that acquires cash flowing real estate in emerging markets with a focus on multifamily investments. We seek value add opportunities in recession resistant markets and properties that generate strong returns for our qualified investors. To learn more about our investment strategies and processes, you can visit www.airsacquisitions.com. There you can schedule a call with me personally to connect further. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to this week's episode. Next week, we got a special guest. That is my good friend and close partner and mentor, Vinny Chopra. So stay tuned for that. Until next week, engineer the lifestyle you want. You've been listening to the Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom podcast, providing you actionable content to build your real estate empire. Nothing on this show should be considered specific, personal, or professional advice. Please consult an appropriate tax, legal, real estate, financial, or business professional for personal advice. The opinions of guests are their own. Information is not guaranteed. All investment strategies have a potential for profit or loss. The host is operating on behalf of the Real Estate Way to Wealth and Freedom, LLC, exclusively.